on realairculture.com is brought to you by Becker Underwoods Nodulator XL, DuPont Vertisin Fungicide, and Saskatchewan Pulse Growers. So Danielle, we're, we're going out, we're planting. Sometimes we, we get you know we get hung up by rain, right, or impending rainstorms. Uh, we've got to really be careful that as we manage our, our inoculum program. Yeah, absolutely, especially in pulses with peas and lentils where that on-seed survival time with a seed treatment and an inoculant isn't very long. In a lot of cases it might only be a 24-hour period. But what a grower can do to maximize performance is right at treating time you're going to have your maximum rhizobia working for you. If it's a 24-hour on-seed um, survival, that is when it's still going to be meeting CFIA standards. So at any point if you can potentially get in the ground 6 to 12 hours after inoculating, you're going to benefit from that much more rhizobia working for you. So it's definitely not like seed treatments where we you know, we treat, uh, we can do some pre-treating, then what happens is we you know, maybe come back in a week or so uh, and you know, try to save ourselves some time. It's definitely not the case. Yeah, for sure it's not the case. Again, rhizobia are biologically active, so you're best to get it into the ground as soon as possible. Even though that on-seed survival time, that's a maximum on-seed survival time. And whatever you can do to reduce that, you'll just get the benefit of more rhizobia working for you. So if we're seeding a lot of acres of pulses, how do we go about being uh, efficient? Is it just we got to take the time to apply properly you know, on a just-in-time sort of basis? Yeah, uh, that's one of the questions that we get quite frequently and that goes back really to the formulation type, Sean. Uh, there's three types that you can use, either a peat-based, a liquid-based, or else a granular type inoculant. We're seeing a large farms, a large trend going towards those granular type formulations because you don't have any uh, on-seed survival compatibilities that you need to deal with. It goes down in furrow along with the seed and you have that spatial separation between your seed treatment and your inoculant. So your on-seed survival, your, in essence your planting window, is no longer a factor. A peat-based product is somewhere in the middle and then a liquid-based product would probably have the shortest on-seed survival time. So when you pick up your inoculant, should you be asking your retailer how he stored it or, or are the retailers pretty good about that? The retailers are very good about that. Um, you know, a lot of the same principles apply at the retail level as they do on farm when you're storing your inoculant in its retail packaging. 